Okay, everyone. So I hope all of you are doing good. So now we are going to start with uh, the business process reengineering. Uh, again, it's a very uh, small topic, definitely important one, but a very small topic and a theoretical topic. I mean, what I mean to say with the theoretical is not a practical, uh, not a numerical topic. In practical life, everything is applicable. So let's begin with the business process reengineering. Um, again, I'm uh, since it's a theoretical topic, I'll just you know, uh, tell you about the things, uh, what basically it is and how it works. So what basically BPR is, uh, you can, you know, understand this concept most mostly by its uh, definition. So what I want you guys to do, you guys just learn the definition of BPR. What is the definition of BPR? BPR definition is fundamental rethinking and radical redesigning of the business process to achieve dramatic improvement in critical contemporary measure of performance. So again, fundamental rethinking and radical redesigning the business process. Fundamental rethinking and radical redesigning the business process to achieve dramatic improvement in the critical contemporary measure of performance. So what basically BPR is, let me first, you know, give uh, a brief about BPR in the layman language, then we'll do the critical analysis. So BPR basically is fundamental uh, rethinking. Uh, basically what BPR is, what we read in Kaizen, we read in Kaizen that we do uh, continuous improvement, you know, little, little improvement, but continuous improvement, making the things better than before. That was the Kaizen, but BPR is sudden changes, and very big changes at a time. So it is like, you know, radical redesigning the business process. What we used to do in BPR, we, in BPR, we basically funda uh, change the fundamentals of anything. Like suppose I am following one process. Now I'm, I'm uh, trying to implement BPR, I'm planning to implement BPR. So what, what I will do, sorry, I will basically, um, you know, Think, uh, think, rethink on the process, completely rethink on the process. I'll, you know, uh, completely uh, change the earlier process. I'll, you know, remove the earlier process and, uh, you know, uh, bring the new process instead of the earlier one. So what we will do, we will basically remove the earlier process, bring the new process. This is called business process reengineering. I hope you understood the things, what basically BPR is. In BPR, we used to, you know, completely change our business process. So we remove the earlier process, we bring the new process in, instead of that, and that it's uh, that's what we call BPR, business process engineering. Now let's go to the definition. Definition I said is fundamental rethinking. So I, as I told, fundamental rethinking means thinking, rethinking fundamentally on the concepts. Okay, earlier concepts are obsolete for us. Now it's of no more use. We completely rethink on the process. Then we radical redesign the business process. Radical redesign the business process means we, you know, uh, completely redesign the uh, earlier process. We completely, you know, whatever the earlier process is, we redesign it and bring the new one to achieve dramatic improvement in the critical contemporary measure of performance. So why we do this? We basically do this uh, instead of uh, like opposite to Kaizen, we do it to get the dramatic improvement in important business measures. Dramatic improvement, sudden changes, you know, big changes at a time. So what we try to do, we try to achieve the big business changes at a time. That's why we Im uh, implement BPR and we, you know, changes the earlier process completely and bring the new process instead of that. That is called BPR. Okay. So I hope you understood all the important process, uh, important points, fundamental rethinking, radical redesigning, you know, dramatic improvement, the business process. And that's all with the BPR. <laughs> you know, these things are very smaller. One. Okay. So I don't find any, you know, reason to, uh, you know, go ahead with that uh, too much or, you know, spend too much time over these things. If you could understand simply, then I don't find any need to spend much of the time over these things. I hope you understood what is BPR. But uh, like 
uh, I gave you an example of Toyota in Kaizen. So is there any example in uh, BPR as well? So yes, the example is of Ford. You know Ford Motors. So what Ford Motors did, Ford Motor, again, Ford Motors, uh, what did they basically, you know, completely change the process, the, completely change the process, the earlier process and bring the new process instead of that. So what they achieved by bringing the new process instead of earlier process, by bringing it, they completely, you know, they saw the dramatic changes in their production process and their, you know, business, uh, in their business, they achieved dramatic improvement. So Ford can be said one of the examples of uh, BPR. So I hope you understood what BPR is. Okay. In BPR, again, in BPR, we do not go with uh, earlier process. We completely change the earlier process. We definitely try to improve ourselves. That's why we are doing this. Okay. And again, the lower level play a very important role in that. The suggestion of lower level workers play an important role because you know these type of worker these workers are regularly engaged with the uh, the teams the people so that's why they play an important role in that okay and uh, again there is no practical question related to bpr because it's most of the theoretical subject uh, theoretical part let me check whether anything is left in bpr one second I don't think anything is left in the BPR. BPR is a very small topic. We have already covered it. And uh, definitely, if you guys have any doubt, just come to me and uh, we'll try to solve it. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye. Again, uh, in next uh, lecture as well, there would be some short topics. Uh, we are trying to cover, you know, short topics earlier so that uh, I'll syllabus uh, somewhere, uh, you know, we can cover most of the topics as early as possible. Uh, definitely will cover uh, the complete topics, uh, complete syllabus. But um, what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to, uh, uh, you know, put all the those topics which are similar. One. So I'm just trying to put uh, all uh, put in one go all those topics which are similar, like uh, the lean system and all these all these things which I'm teaching you. These are related to lean. So uh, we have covered most of the part of lean accounting or I can say waste management, I can say, you know, improvement process. So we have covered most of this and uh, yeah, definitely the smaller parts are remaining. So we'll cover those as well as early as possible. Have a very nice device. Nice.